What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bass and today we have a gear review video for you. Some new baits to the market, some new baits to my arsenal, but today we're covering some key baits that you guys should really check out and possibly add to your summer fishing arsenal. You guys know that both Matt and I are big time tackle junkies. We are always buying new stuff, trying out new things, trying out recommended products. So today I have a summer gear review for you guys to check out some of these baits and uh, possibly add them to your summer fishing arsenal. To start off the bat, I think today we're gonna go smallest to biggest. Again, Ned Rigs all the way up to wake baits, but I really think you guys should check out some of these items. The first one that I want to talk about is this guy right here. Two parts actually to this. First off, this right here is a new tungsten Ned Head from Swagger Tackle. They're calling it the Flanders Ned Head. And I have that paired up with the Missile Baits Ned Balm. This is a great bait. But let's talk about the head because I'm really impressed. I love a lot of Swagger Tackle's products. I've talked about their Nico weights and their drop shot weights. This tungsten head right here is, uh, is a no brainer to me for bottom contact baits, for finesse fishing. When you can step up from lead to tungsten, you get a few different benefits. The first benefit is gonna be the overall size of the bait that you have to use. This right here is an eighth ounce head. Hopefully you guys can see that I'll take some pictures up close, but it is considerably smaller than an eighth ounce lead head. So first benefit, you can get away with a lot smaller head for the same weight. You don't need that big bulky head on there for the same weight. This one also comes with a 2X hook, just like some of the competitors. But the main benefit to tungsten, why I try and, and recommend to have you guys switch to tungsten if you can, is the sensitivity. Tungsten is more dense than lead, it is heavier than lead. So on a bottom contact bait, when you're dragging this or hopping it, you're gonna have a lot more sensitivity with a tungsten head than you will a lead head. Again, this is the new Flanders head from Swagger Tackle Company. Another cool thing, they actually engrave the weight on the actual head. This right here is an eighth ounce. The next thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is this bait right here. This is the Missile Baits Ned Balm. Missile Baits produces a lot of great soft plastics. I was really excited to get to try these and it has a great action. When you hop this thing up, this little beaver tail back here or whatever you wanna call it, paddle tail, has a lot of action. So this is another bait that I'm gonna include, add to my Ned bait arsenal. You guys know that I love the Robo Worm. You guys know that I love the original, the TRD. And now this guy right here, the Missile Baits Ned Bomb. This, this color right here, I believe is called Gobi, but they have a lot of great colors, so definitely check these out. Again, this is paired on that Swagger tack, Tackle Tungsten Ned Head. The next bait that I want to talk to you guys about is not necessarily a new bait. <laughs> Every fisherman in the world probably knows about the Kitek, the Swing In Pack Fat, but there was some rumors going around, there was some talk, some chatter, uh, a little while ago about Kitek um, actually getting rid of some of their best colors. So Matt and I, when we heard that information, we went out and bought as much as we could, but uh, good news, they didn't get rid of all their colors and they actually came out with some new colors. So go check those out today because they probably won't last long. But this bait right here, this is uh, very special to me. This is, uh, my son, JD, you guys know that we've been back in the Midwest fishing for uh, giant smallmouth, and uh, Matt's actually still on the trip. But uh, JD, my, my six-year-old son, caught his PB smallmouth 5.30 on this setup right here. This is a Kitek Swing Impact Fat and an Owner Mosquito Light Hook. You guys that have watched my finesse videos in the past know that I love the Mosquito Light Hook. It's a light wire 
mosquito hook. So less less pressure, less, less strength to get that hook to penetrate. A lighter wire hook is easier to penetrate the fish's mouth. This combo, this setup right here, put that big old smallie in the boat. All right, that does it for soft plastics. I now want to uh, talk to you guys about this bait right here. This is a little evergreen square bill. You guys know that I love throwing square bills very shallow in the summertime in grass. And I've been on the search for a long time since Lucky Craft discontinued their BDS uh, one, their BDS square bill. That was a, a great bait coming through grass. But this guy right here, this is the Evergreen CH1 and it runs zero to one feet. So a very, very shallow bait. Where this bait shines, when you're fishing flats or you're fishing around docks and you have submerged, submerged grass just below the surface, I just covered this topic in my last video, uh, summer shallow fishing, a square bill, if you can get this bait to just tick and just deflect off the top of that grass, you'll get those bass to come up and eat it. But this guy right here is a, it's a great replacement to that BDS-1. This is again, the Evergreen, the CH-1, zero to one foot, very shallow, a real wide wobble, and it deflects and comes through that, that vegetation very good. Again, we have that paired up on that, that Loomis 845CB, and that's a Cronarch 150 MGL. That is my square bill crankbait setup. But that bait right there, you guys should definitely check it out. Now let's move into top water. I got a couple frogs for you guys. First one, gonna be this guy right here. This is the Stanford Bates Boom Boom Frog. Fred Rombanis de uh, developed this frog and there's been some chatter uh, recently about this frog. So I wanted to get one and try it out. Right off the bat, I like it. It's a smaller frog, a little smaller profile than our, our traditional frogs that we fish. You know, Matt and I both love the Bully Wah 2 and the, the Live Target, the Snag Proof, those frogs. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit narrower frog. But what makes this frog cool, what sets it apart is the Velcro patch on the top. What this is for, when you're frog fishing and you have a fish come up through the mat or you have a fish come up and eat your frog and they go to spit it out before you have a chance to reel down and jack them, this Velcro patch right here on the top is meant to catch on the roof of the fish's mouth on their teeth so they can't spit it out as easily. This frog is fairly soft. It's not as soft as the coppers, but I think it is a great frog. It walks very easily. You don't have to squeeze it out a lot of water. I did trim the legs up a little bit, but uh, this, this frog right here, guys, is something that you guys should look at. The next frog or shad that I wanna talk about is the, the Spro Bronze Eye Spit Shad. You know, Matt and I, we get a lot of comments. We get a lot of recommend recommendations on tackle we should try. Or when we do a video and we talk about specific baits, specific worms, you know, we get a ton of questions. Well, why didn't you try this one? Or why didn't you try that one? So to be honest, guys, there is so many products, so many good products on the market, it's hard to try them all. So it's taken me a little time to get to some of these frogs. But again, this is the Spro, the Bronze Eye Spit Shad and I like it. It's got the legs coming out the back of the bait different than a normal frog. Typically, you got legs coming out the side. This actually has them coming up vertically stacked, but a very easy frog to walk. Where this frog is gonna shine is in uh, tule edges like this. Hopefully you guys can see this, the sparse tules. This thing walks very easily, but it also pops. It's smaller than the spit and wall, the other poppin' frog that we really like to throw, and it's a little bit bigger than the the smaller spro uh, spitting or poppin' frog. But this spit shad is another winner by spro. Again, both those are paired up on a a seven three or a seven four extra heavy rod. You guys know that we like the X prides. That's the Dombins Champion Extreme, uh, sixty five pound braid and a seven 
to one or eight to one burner reel. That's the tackle you're gonna need. We'll link all this stuff down below in the video description, but those two frogs, you guys should check out if you guys like frog fishing. Now, the next bait that we're gonna talk about is a wake bait. Those of you guys that subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, you guys know that I just did a shallow water summer fishing video, how to catch them in less than five feet. And I shared with you guys, uh, Matt and I, one of our favorite wake baits, the noisy docks. And uh, this is not it, but I want to talk about that bait just a few more minutes because it is special. And one of the reasons that it's special sorry, I'm cooking out here, is the availability. Not only is it a great combination of squeaky and clacking like a wake bait should, but they are available again. You know, We talked about that bait last year and they were gone for most of the year. You couldn't even get them, but Tackle Warehouse has a lot of them now, so make sure you guys get them before they are gone. Again, they are a little bit on the pricey side, but when you are upscaling to those types of baits, the hand craftsmanship, the, the, the detail, how they work, the components, all that stuff, you guys are gonna be spending a little more money. This bait right here is no different. This one comes in uh, right around 50 bucks, I believe. This is the GanCraft, the OSA, OSA 115, over swimming action. It's a smaller profile wake bait, but it has that same great, that real good V, so those fish can track it from a long ways away in low light conditions. You know, typically in the summertime, my favorite time to throw big wake baits, first light and last night, morning and evening. With a big V, with a, the a wake bait, a good wake bait produces, those fish can track it from a long ways. And this guy right here has it. Again, this is the OSA 115 by GanCraft. Smaller profile, it's only like four or five inches, so there won't be any issues with smaller fish getting in the mouth. But again, this is another bait you guys should check out if you guys like throwing wake baits. I have that, again, 65 pound straight braid. You can put a heavy mono leader, mono leader on there if you want, if, you don't, if you're worried about the braid getting tangled up in the trebles. Other, another thing about this bait is it comes with a second lip. So if you have any issues with breaking stuff or hitting docks or whatever it may be, this guy right here comes with a second lip. So definitely guys, check that out right there. Now the last bait that I want to talk to you guys about, again, is not a new bait to the market, but new colors are available. This right here, guys, is the bait Sanity. You guys know that Matt and I love this bait. We, you know, we've done several videos on this thing right here. As far as the glide bait category, it is fairly inexpensive for an eight or nine or 10 inch glide bait. And this thing has it. This thing has that real slow, meandering, lazy S action but where this bait shines is when you give it a reel twitch or a rod twitch, this thing boom, boom, and then resets, and that's when you get your bites. Nine times out of 10 on that twitch or that rod twitch, or reel twitch, whatever twitch it may be, that's when you get your bite. And this thing has it, guys, but they now have it in a few new colors. You guys know that we really like the carp and the trout. Now they have it in this like photorealistic kokanee color, which looks awesome and also in white too. So uh, the bait sanity guys, if you guys are looking to get into the bigger glide bait category, check out that bait. There you have it guys, there is some new tackle, some tackle that I have confidence in, some new stuff that I'm excited about. There's always new products hitting the market so it takes us a little time to get it, try it, build confidence in it to be able to talk to you guys about it. But uh, dog days of summer, it is upon us out here on the west coast. Don't be afraid when the bike gets tough this summer to downsize and tie on a Ned rig. Don't be afraid to get out early and throw a wake bait. Don't be afraid to stay out late and throw a wake bait. Midday, throw that frog on those mats, 
throw that frog through the reeds, the tulies, the bulrushes. I think you guys will have a blast. If you guys have any questions about any of this tackle that we talked about, please leave those down below in the comment section. Again, just like every video, I will link all of this stuff down below in the video description so you guys don't have to go and track it down. As always, guys, we appreciate you. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you guys like our channel, if you love our channel, subscribe. We do three videos a week for you, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and we are teaching, guys. We are here to teach you guys how to catch more and bigger bass. So hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. We appreciate you. Have a good one.